Hello guys, so today I'll be doing a review of the amazingly affordable smart TV that I bought recently. It's the Ace 32 inch LED smart TV and I got this awesome deal from Lazada at only 6,300 pesos which is equivalent to around $120. Here it is. So there you can see the major specifications but we'll look at them closely later and for the longest time I've been wanting to buy a 32 inch LED smart TV I look on other brands like Samsung and Sony but I found out that they were all very expensive uh, and they the price ranges are from around 15 to 17 thousand pesos that's why I decided to go for this product from Ace instead. And I know a lot of you also want to enjoy a home theater-like experience without spending too much. So here we go, let's check it out. So now let's go over the specifications. It says here that it, it has a 32-inch LED screen. It has a resolution of 1366 by 768. It has a clear motion rate of 200, refresh rate of 60 Hz which is pretty standard for uh, an LED TV of this size. Uh, it has an ultra slim design and it has a very thin golden bezel which looks pretty gorgeous. Uh, it has a response time of 5 milliseconds. Uh, it also features a surround sound capability. For the connectivity, it has two HDMI ports. It has two USB ports and it, ha it has one VGA port. As for the special features, it has an ultra slim design, it has smart energy saving technology, and it supports computer input, which means that this TV functions almost like a computer. So here it is unboxed. I already mounted it on my wall. And let's try turning it on. It has like a 10 second boot time before it powers up. So it will be loading up the apps. Wisdom Share Smart Cloud TV. What I noticed is that the uh, ultra thin golden bezel looks pretty elegant as compared to the standard silver and black bezels. So here we go, we're already on the home page. These are the pre installed apps. App Manager, Aptoid TV, Browser. Downloads Facebook, Skype, Play Store, MX Player. I I I installed the MX Player. It's not pre-installed. And MyraCast. You can cast the screens of your Android phones through MyraCast. And YouTube. Let's go exit and app management. You can install, uninstall browser media you can play music and view pictures uh, let's try watching some videos on YouTube so sometimes it gets errors like that but just have to wait and now it's working fine so as you can hear the speaker can get very loud and it has pretty decent quality so that's the internal speaker that we're using right now So 
they were only at 360p quality let's try using 480 so when I increase the quality there are some buffering let's go full screen So listen to the difference, that's the sound of the uh, internal speaker. Right now I'll be switching over to the external speaker with subwoofer. So the difference is very clear, you definitely have to buy or use as an external speaker with subwoofer to enhance your viewing experience and music listening so right now let's try watching some movies uh, I plugged in my 3 terabyte uh, portable hard drive and as you can see it's loading up yeah. it was able to read it after loading for a few seconds and I'm very impressed I thought it will not be able to read my 3 terabyte hard drive because most uh, smart TVs of this price range can only read up to 1 to 2 terabyte hard drives so let's try watching a movie So the picture quality is very impressive. You can money there, you can get married, you can get divorced, you can... So that's pretty much it. Uh, I've, I was able to show you uh, the major features of the Ace 32 inch LED Smart TV. In reviewing this LED Smart TV from Ace, I was able to identify various pros and cons in getting this product. The good points include the display. The display is magnificent. It's very clear, it is crisp, it is color accurate, and it can get very bright. Watching full HD movies is a very good experience in this TV. I scored the display 8 out of 10. And you can also adjust the picture modes according to your liking. Video streaming was also very enjoyable in this TV. 
it was so clear especially at 720p or 1080p result this TV is also very responsive uh, as it was included in the specifications that it has a response time of 5 milliseconds I'm glad to say that it is true as advertised I encounter very seldom stutters and it was able to read my 3 terabyte portable hard drive with ease another good thing about this TV is the 4 gig internal memory which I think is more than enough in installing video streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, and media players. Wireless connectivity is also a positive thing in this TV. Uh, it had no problems despite that the distance from this TV and our router is at around 8 meters. I think the most impressive feature of this TV is the computer input. I was able to plug in a mouse and use that to browse the internet. Uh, surf the different apps with ease and it is more efficient than using the cursor from the remote last but not the least I think the aesthetics is one of the more positive points in this TV the ultra thin golden bezel looks very gorgeous I think it has a very classy look into it and that's it for the positive points on the other hand, let's go to the cons or the negative points in getting this product. The first one is I think the display during low light scenes when watching movies, it can get too dark to the point that it is uncomfortable to the eyes. Next is the sound. The sound is very mediocre. It can get loud but it lacks bass and the sound is tinny. You definitely have to have an external speaker with subwoofer to enhance your experience. I rate the sound 6 out of 10. The next negative thing that I found on this product which was, which was very annoying is that the volume control only works on the internal speaker and you cannot adjust the uh, volume that will come out on the auxiliary output. Which means that you can still get sound off from the internal speaker even if you plug in as an external speaker using the auxiliary input. So that's very annoying because you want to control the volume that will come out even on the external speakers using the remote. On this CV you can't do that. You have to adjust the volume on the separate volume rocker on your external speaker. The last negative point that I found on this product is that it is not very versatile in reading some audio tracks of the movies that I want to play. Uh, you have to download uh, different media player such as MX player or the VLC media player uh, and that will solve that problem. So those are the pros and cons of getting this Ace 32 inch LED Smart TV. So after looking into the features and analyzing the pros and cons of the Ace 32 inch LED Smart TV, I came to the conclusion that this product is a must buy. I score this TV an 8 out of 10. You get more than what your money is worth. It has a gorgeous looking display. It has a very responsive interface. It has smooth wireless connectivity. And I know that it will definitely exceed your expectations as it has exceeded mine, especially in this price point at only around $120. So that's it. That's my review of the Ace 32 inch LED Smart TV. And I hope you found this video useful. And if so, kindly click the like button and maybe subscribe. If you have suggestions, I'm very much open for it. And I hope this will help you in deciding if you will buy this product as well. I will provide the link below in the comment section. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.